Today, our market research continues, but I'm going to throw you guys a curveball. We're going to look at a recent draft class in the top 10 sets to invest in the 2022 draft class with the likes of Brock Purdy. How about Drake London? I know you guys are excited about him with Kirk Cousins this year. How about Garrett Wilson with Aaron Rodgers getting healthy? How about Chris Olave? What about Christian Watson? Maybe he can keep that hamstring healthy this year. I know you guys are bullish on Brees Hall and Kenneth Walker as well. So let's look at the top cards to invest in for all these awesome 2022 players. Let's dig in. Number 10, Panini Chronicles Prism Black Silver Prism. Now, I know it's a mouthful, but just understand this is a black prism that comes out of the Panini Chronicles set. It is a very nice chrome black metallic finish around the outside. This is the silver prism variation. It is significantly more rare than the base and sells for a lot more money. And I think that's a, a much nicer sweet spot in terms of being able to buy low potentially and then sell for even higher premium and profit when you flip it. You see it's got that nice color match rookie card shield in the top right. Still got the Prism brand. On the back, the only difference it is going to say Chronicles Prism Black Football. As you can see here from Drake London, if you put this card in auction like this guy did yesterday, you're still going to get a couple bids, but you're only going to sell it for a couple bucks. Versus a buy it now, this card went for almost three times as much for $6 plus a dollar shipping. This card transacts a ton on the regular. In fact, we're on eBay, as you can see in the past 90 days, there's been over 1,700, 1,700 plus sold Chronicles Prism Black Silver Prism uh, results. And uh, you can see the Aiden Hutchinson pretty decent there at $10, Christian Watson at seven, the Brock Purdy Raw almost 100, and the other thing is, it has a pretty good raw to PSA 10 conversion rate. And that is really important as we're looking here for Brock Purdy. 64% of the raw cards submitted to PSA have come back PSA 10s for a current population of 767. Number nine is the 2022 Donruss Optic Purple Shock Rated Rookie. As you can see, it features the Optic, which is a chrome finish card, nice thick card stock with chrome finish. It also features the iconic Rated Rookie logo that dates back to the late 80s, early 90s. Very nostalgic for us 90s collectors that have gotten back into the market. And uh, the 2022 design is decent. It doesn't do nearly as well as Prism, but it is quite popular. And specifically, the purple shock variation here. You notice you're not going to see anything different on the back of the card. The only thing different you're going to see is the little prism text at the bottom right. Really, what it comes down to is the purple shock parallel, a little bit more rare than the base, and seems to be more desirable, gets a little bit better resale value than the optic hollow even in a lot of situations. Uh, color matches nicely, quite a few teams like the Ravens and Vikings for prime example, but uh, even so, very popular card for Brock Purdy, almost the most sold transacted card for Brock Purdy over the past six months here. Uh, you can see the raw variation, the, the raw purple shock rated rookie, $75, but even for Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, Sauce Gardner, $4, Christian Watson, $5. Sam Howell, PSA 10, 60. And you can see we're just we're still in sold transactions. A lot of them buy it now, just in the past 24 hours. So you can imagine how many thousands of these have sold over the past 90 days or going dating back a, a year or so from when they were released. Kyron Williams, $9.99. Aiden Hutchinson, two days ago, $10. George Pickens, PSA 10, 51. Drake London, $10, buy it now. Hey guys, now real quick, welcome to the football card course. If you're new here, my name is Andy. We're 100% dedicated to football cards research and selling tips, all part of the nooffseason.com sports card network. 
make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below if the purple shock is not your favorite let us know what your favorite optic parallel is and if we missed a card that you think should have deserved to been in the top 10 make sure to let us know in the comment section below otherwise subscribe to the channel if you love football cards now back to the action Number eight, 2022 Panini Prism, Pandora Prism, serial numbered out of 400. No serial number on the back. All right, so right off the bat here, you're going to notice that it, it, if, if you haven't already, that the Pandora parallel is almost like faint squares, Pandora boxes in the background of the card. It does have a silver prism uh, finish to it. We're looking at a scan right here, not a phone photography. And so if we look at the back, we will see that serial number there at the bottom underneath the stats from his college numbers and that little prism text. So if we look at this card for some other players, here's a Quay Walker with beautiful phone photography selling for $7 in a buy it now. I'm not a big Quay fan either, but look at the beautiful photography on this card. Now this is how you should take your pictures and list it look how cool that is you can really see the pandora boxes but needless to say this is a very very popular serial numbered prism card that goes for higher resale values than a lot of other ones that's actually a pandora uh, rookie auto from Kyron there selling for 175 in auction what about the kicker, Cade York for the Browns selling for $7 in a buy it now. The Trey McBride for 10 Man, that's a that's a deal right there because Trey McBride should have a great uh, year. But there's the uh, Zamir White selling for $16.99. The Ahmad Sauce Gardner selling for $15. Here's a buy it now. The Ken Walker that happened just four days ago for 11 Another great deal. The George Pickens PSA 9 selling for 31 The Calvin Austin for $3 in a buy it now. Here's the Sam Howell PSA 9 closing for half price at 25 It was listed for 50 The Isaiah Pacheco version. Now remember, Isaiah Pacheco doesn't have any rookie autos. So cars like this uh, have a really nice premium that's selling for $30 on April 8th. There's the Garrett Wilson PSA 10. So you can see... Right, when you jump from a silver prism standard to now the Pandora prism, you get a significant boost. Uh, this one sold for $100 on the Garrett Wilson. This was about a week ago. couple raw George Pickens selling here for $20 a pop. And with the serial numbering out of 400, it's just common enough for you to get your hands on one or two or maybe even a few, but also rare enough with... A very very popular design in the background for it to garner some nice resale values when the player pops off check out the Romeo Dobbs selling for $14 there and a buy it now all right here at number seven we've got contenders base contenders rookie ticket autos and their variations we're gonna talk about the two main variations here today uh, as you can see, this base variation here of Trey McBride. I'm going to show you guys the way you can differentiate between the base and the short print. As you can see here, the Trey McBride features an on-card rookie auto penmanship. It has the deep uh, ticket theme that goes back to 1998, the iconic Peyton Manning, Randy Moss, Brian Urlacher rookie years, and then the Tom Brady 2000 rookie ticket auto. This set has a very deep checklist so you almost get a rookie ticket auto for every single player that steps foot on an nfl football field um, you get a nice little excerpt about the player some stats and on the back as you can see this is the base variation we're going to show you how you can uh, distinguish this between the short print here in a second but it just goes to show you uh the rookie ticket auto is a short print or shorter print it's not a true short print that has you know, approximate print run of 150 or less, according to Panini blogs. But as you can see in the past 90 days, you know, football, 7,313 sold listings. So as we look, Sauce Gardner, non-serial numbered, uh, as I'll remind you guys, PSA 9, $60. Sam Howell, rookie ticket auto, PSA 10, $245 today in a buy it now. 
He's not even guaranteed the starter in 2024. All right, so let's here look at this short print variation. This is a Pierre Strong backup running back now on the Cleveland Browns behind Jerome Ford, behind Nick Chubb on the depth chart. So the first thing that jumps off the bat, and I think Panini did this to make it easier on everybody, uh, is that it's horizontally formatted. You still have on-card rookie auto from most players. Still have that nice little RC shield in the top left, a ticket theme. On the back, you also will find this little V in a little football shape up by the number. Now, just because it's the short print variation doesn't mean it's going to go for more money. The base, just because it's vertically formatted, typically will be the better investment over the horizontal. Now, if the player's right, then either one are just fine. They're going to grow at roughly the same rate when your player breaks out. Now, as you can see, they have uh, red variations. It's going to be a little bit more uncommon, a little bit more rare. does have some nice color masks for certain teams. It's going to be great for like Trey McBride here on the Arizona Cardinals. The cracked ice. This is uh, this could be number one on this list. We'll include it here. with the, And this is from Optic Contenders. Uh, but the cracked ice rookie ticket auto is more or less a grail card. And you can see... If you were to compare this up next to a gold prism, in terms of scarcity to scarcity, this gold prism auto is out of 10. Gold parallels being one of the most coveted, most desirable parallels in the hobby. Uh, very, very popular, very desirable. Also, top, top uh, investment sets, uh, parallels to invest in. Anyways, I digress. $215 buy it now, February 27th through the Trey McBride gold prism rookie auto versus 130 for the uh, contenders uh, rookie ticket auto cracked ice out of 22. You have twice the availability of this card, but uh, you have roughly 60% of the resale value. So very, very solid compared to a standard gold prism out of 10 without the autos gold shimmer here without the auto. This uh, sold just two days ago for $83 PSA nine too. Uh, compared to the Cracked Ice Rookie Ticket Auto for 130 Needless to say, this year, or for 2022, the contenders also have a pretty solid raw to 10 conversion rate. 65% uh, for Brees Hall with a current resale value of about 150, 152, and only a population uh, in PSA's database of just 62. Garrett Wilson, about the same uh, conversion rate, 60% with over twice the population. So as you can see with Garrett Wilson, the low point can be pretty low and the high point can be pretty high as we have Friday, November 3rd, $89. September 12th, 368. So with Rogers coming back, you know, you can create your own projections. It's not a projections video, but the point is these cars get pretty low. They also get pretty high due to the deep ticket theme, the on-card rookie autos, and the quality, man. The, these uh, have a pretty solid conversion rate of raw to 10. Look at the Chris Olave, 74%. So guys, I wanna ask you, are you ready to start grading your card? Well, CGC is the perfect place to grade your favorite football cards. From their crystal clear holders to their affordable pricing, CGC Cards is the perfect stop for your grading needs. Go to cgccards.com today, guys, to find out more. Number six, Panini Immaculate Eye Black Rookie Patch Auto. Some of these don't come with patches, but uh, a lot of them do, and this set is very nice. Immaculate is one of the high-end sets in the hobby. I put it up uh, top five for sure in football cards, and as you can see, it's got some really nice background design. This is a cardboard cardstock uh, card, but it is very thick, as you can imagine, with the patch. As you can see, some nice stitching, a couple colors in there. Just add some nice aesthetics to it. Uh, virtually all immaculate cards are serial numbered and you have that rc rookie card shield at the top right you know the the kind of like the swirls and the chrome foil in the background is nice and then you have the eye black acting as the sticker for then the rookie auto in the silver sharpie on that pretty standard back on the card but as you can see that card numbered out of 99 selling for 99 that is much, 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 much higher, guys, 
than virtually any other set on the market besides a couple other that we're going to talk about in this video for that kind of scarcity. Uh, there's the Trey McBride out of 99 selling for $46, very solid a few days ago. The Drake London out of 99 selling for $62. 17 bids still fighting over the Kenny Pickett's out there out of 49 for 46. A really sick one of one as you can see they kind of they dial in the scarcity with a different color of the auto ink. So the gold sharpie going to be your one of one. So you can see for Brian Robinson here, and that sold in a buy it now five days ago for $300. But your defensive players, even with playing color patch here, still going to be selling for $14. So you can see in this one for Trayvon Walker. And another example of how that uh, autograph ink scales up in, in scarcity, and then also a much better, better patch there. Serial numbering out of 10 here for Trayvon Walker. This one listed for uh, 55, but in an auction to where the best offer was accepted at $45. Wandale Robinson got the gold Sharpie out of 25 here. This one's selling for $50. We're talking about wide receiver three, four on his team, making this, uh, this, uh, oh, never mind. I digress. For a second, I thought that was Drake London. I was like, oh man, someone got a steal. And then I realized, oh no, no, that's Desmond. Old news. John Mechie. As you can see, John Mechie. He's a cancer survivor, man. He is uh, heading into his third year. It was really just his second year. Um, battled with injuries and just getting off his NFL career off to a rocky start last year. So this is a perfect example. You can see the lows that they get to. And then you've seen the highs that they can get to. So this is a card that has the potential if John Mechie were to break out in a fairly decent big way there with the Texans uh, and CJ Stroud, that card could have a $100 potential. And that's why it's on this list. Same thing with Calvin Austin III here in Pittsburgh, 1899 buy it now. As you can see, this Romeo Dobbs BGS9 sold for 70. We'll see what the Traylon Burks is doing these days. The Traylon Burks is still getting $30, even with the addition of Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Hopkins, and question marks at, uh, on Will Levis at quarterback and new coaching this year. Traylon Burks is still getting $30 out of the 99. Uh, same thing as the Zamir White here at $30. Note the Traylon Burks has a much nicer patch than the Zamir White. The Zamir White probably could have got 40 bucks with a better patch, but the patch is not really why you're buying this card. It's the brand of Immaculate, the Rookie Card Shield, the Eye Black Auto. Number five, the Panini Prism Silver Prism Rookie Auto. Extremely popular card, very desirable for rookie year, uh, but this one's no exception. And uh, as you can see here, a little bit off center left to right, but we got the Prism brand. We got the RC Shield color match to the player's jersey. We got that Prism brand, like I mentioned, the sticker auto, but the sticker auto doesn't really bother a whole lot of people at all. This is going to say Prism at the bottom, Prism for the brand. They're going to have some uh, disco parallels. There's going to be a few color parallels, like you guys have seen the gold earlier in this video. They, they, they scale up in scarcity. I would target the silver, and I would target the color match to the team. The disco is fine as well. But as you can see, Kenneth Walker here, $37. This is not a serial numbered car, but it does have some nice scarcity to it. Chris Olave, currently 51. Jamison Williams Disco, 57 in auction yesterday. Malik Willis Disco. People are still buying these and buy it now, particularly due to the price point, $14. But that shows you the desirability of this card. Check out the Greg Dolchich. Last uh, season, last year was really ruined for him by injury, but man, maybe he can make a comeback this year. He was super hyped up last year, just selling for $21.50 in auction. The Kate Otten. Listed for 15, let's see what it sold for at 10. That's pretty much the bottom for a Silver Prism rookie auto. Damian Pierce also going to be at the bottom right now, especially after they added Joe Mixon. Still selling for $15 on that Damian Pierce. The Garrett Wilson, as you can see, very hyped up. So if you were to go back, compare where the Kenneth Walker was, where that Chris Olave was, about half or a little bit less than even half, of the Garrett Wilson here at 130. 
This one also appears to be in good condition. Great photography here, this raw Garrett Wilson Silver Prism Auto. That's the 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 high and the upside that you could potentially realize for these uh, Silver Prism rookie ticket autos. And you do have to kind of, you know, wade through some inaccurate results. Look, the Drake London right now, $84.99. We've seen some other Drake London cards in this video that we were like, wow, that might still be in a deal territory, but $84.99, absolutely fantastic. Knowing that the bottom just a few months ago, you could have got the card for, you know, 15, 20 bucks. Example, here's the Greg Dolchich. You end their auction at the wrong time on the wrong day, you're only getting $1.95. Where's that other one we saw? That Greg Dolchich sold for 15. It's a big, big variance and uh, also illustrating just how desirable PSA 9 Trey McBride. This is not a serial numbered card, guys, but still these cards transact very, very well on a daily basis. And uh, for that matter, that's why Optic Contenders Rookie Ticket Autos, Silver Prism specifically, um, are fantastic as well. They're actually between here four and five, so I've got a little bit more than 10 for you all in this video. Um, and these Optic Contenders Rookie Ticket Autos sell for pretty much, especially the Silver Prism ones, sell for pretty much exactly the same as the Silver Prism Rookie Ticket Autos, which is why I got it here. And you can see this is the... Uh, this is not the silver prism Brock Purdy. This is the base optic. There's there's a silver prism uh, optic contenders rookie ticket auto. Here's just a base optic contenders rookie ticket auto for Brock Purdy selling for 775. But uh, there's the Chris Olave. So you can see about the same. This one actually went for 10 to $11 more than what that. I think what the other one was like 59 for the uh, Silver Prism Rookie uh, Silver Prism Rookie Auto Chris Olave, which you have to go back and look at the, the photographs, the condition, the time that the auction was ended. You know, with raw cards, especially in auction, there's so many variables you have to consider to really uh, paint a good picture of apples to apples. This is the base optic from Malik, so not quite. There's the Silver Prism for Trey McBride, so like I said, very comparable, and these cards transact regularly. Very, very popular cards, as you guys uh, saw. I'm not going to go through all through it. Uh, we went through contenders earlier in the video, uh, but just know optic contenders, just one step up. One step up, you get a thick chrome stock, chrome finish card. Get the silver prism variation, man. Those will go up at the same rate as the silver prism rookie ticket autos from the prism brand as you can see here's the drake london 77 in auction two days ago compared to 85 so like i said neck and neck and a lot of times these optic contenders silver prism rookie ticket autos can be had for less than the uh, silver prism rookie ticket autos because of a little bit of brand loyalty brand clout there from prism uh, but it's it's hard. It's you know it's not often, but sometimes you can find these in auction that dip dip down way low, which just enable you to sell them for more profit. Number four, 2022 Mosaic White Sparkle. This is a uh, super short print case hit. Uh, in terms of case hits, White Sparkle from Mosaic is very very popular. First of all, people know. By now in the hobby, when you see a sparkled card, this is what a sparkled card looks like up close. A bunch of little tiny, it, it almost looks like sequins or glitter, like on the background of the card. They know when they see a sparkle card, it's rare, okay? So just know that. The white one seems to do the best out of all of them in terms of resale value. So if I'm chasing a card from... Mosaic, I am targeting a white sparkle. I'm targeting over honeycomb, over Genesis. I'm targeting a white sparkle or maybe a red sparkle if that's color matched to the team. You got the rookie card shield. Mosaic is a chrome stock, chrome finish card. Very popular card here. You're not going to see any other differentiating information on the back other than prism text on the top right under Panini. Just know when you see the sparkle, it's worth some good money. So for example, this Kenneth Walker was listed for $100, sold for $75. You can see Kayvon Thibodeau selling for just under 20. People are after the PSA 10s of this card. 
people are still buying Zach Wilson's of this card. And this is not Zach Wilson's rookie year either. This is his uh, second year card. Spent 40, somebody spent $41 on it. If you go to a better player like Josh Allen, they spent $80 on the veteran. Zamir White, as you can see, this is the red sparkle. This was bought immediately for 20. They also have these cards in Optic, some other sets as well. They are very good uh, cards to target. But this one, particularly from Mosaic, seems to do really, really well. Like this $50 veteran Aaron Rodgers here, 22, $25 $35 Kenny Pickett White Sparkle. Buy it now. Veteran Miles Sanders sells for $5. People are really after these Sparkle cards uh, from Mosaic, these White Sparkles. The Rashad White red sparkle this is when it's a good idea to target that color match for thirty dollars now his stock overall as a player is down veteran christian mccaffrey fifty dollars love to see the running back getting that same resale as a, a hall of fame quarterback justin fields veteran mosaic white sparkle fifty dollars <laughs> somebody spent seventy dollars on a trey lance white sparkle so you can see white sparkle from mosaic is where it's at. Number three, Obsidian Black Color Blast. Obsidian, a very nice chrome stock, chrome finished card, hobby only, meaning you have to buy it from a card shop or distributor, get those hobby boxes, you're not gonna find it in Walmart or Target. Does have a RC shield for the rookies on this card, and it takes the famous Color Blast uh, case hit, super short print, you know, case hit, so it's going to be, uh, depending on the case configurations, it's t case is typically a, a, a case of 12 to 24 hobby boxes, and you're going to have one of these in, in each of those, and Obsidian is really a brand that is growing. 2022 is probably one of the better years for Obsidian, maybe the best. Definitely let me know in the comments section below your thoughts, uh, but this black color blast is does incredibly well and as you can see people are even buying uh, veteran austin eckler he's not even on the chargers anymore for 200 dollars. christian mccaffrey psa 8 for 330 the chris olave we just looked at here for 285 look at the sold quantities for the past 90 days on this card for football 200 Blows all these other sports out of the water. 2022 Obsidian Black Color Blast. People absolutely love it. Uh, the Drake London sells for $230. From what I've seen, this card sells better than the Downtown, which is why I have this card here at number three over the Downtown from Donruss and Donruss Optic. Cooper Cup, couple solds there just a couple days ago. And also note, how many transactions are actually going down on a daily basis? People still buying the Damian Pierce for over 100. Over 100, guys. A lot of case hits for Damian Pierce. Well under 100 at this point. Veteran Justin Jefferson, PSA 8, 350. The Ritter, people are still buying it now for 130. So you can see the bottom for this card. Backup players. It's going to be still over 100. You know, and we're talking a uh, very nice card to target for veterans on the low as well to flip. I mean, look at this Patrick Mahomes PSA 10 sold for over a thousand dollars, twelve hundred fifty dollars. It's another one that sold for a thousand fifty in a buy it now. Another Drake London PSA 9 for 225. This card moves, man, just moves. We're still in April here. Ton of transactions. The PSA 10 for Garrett Wilson, $480 buy it now. $450 for veteran Justin Jefferson. Oh my. Veteran Justin Herbert, $605. This Traylon Burks here looks to be PSA 9, $165. So pretty good deal, but also now a backup player that's third on his depth chart. Uh, now this Ahmad Sauce Gardner here for $275. Not much of a discount, just a tiny one. But man, another great buy it now here in April of this card. But when it comes to RPAs, guys, rookie patch autos, there is one that beats all the rest, and that is National Treasures. 
a lot of brand recognition, a lot of brand loyalty. When you look at the cost of these hobby boxes, anywhere you know from five to fifteen thousand dollars, depending on the the strength of the draft class and how many great quarterbacks are in it, um, and you know, so just every card from the set is serial numbered, uh, and they're all going to be you know hundred. 99 or less and and mostly on card rookie autos with rookie card shields quality of patches are going to be incredible the uh, the cardstock thickness is fantastic and these are coming out of hobby boxes that are exclusive hobby only that uh, of, of boxes like i said of five to fifteen thousand dollars for a pack of five card got a little pig skin in this one so even a guy like sky Moore. $33.99. These cards are very, very highly respected in the football card hobby. Let's see if we can get a quantity here. 2,681. Solid numbers for basketball and baseball as well. But football just blowing basketball out of the water by an extra, what is that, about 900 listings here. An extra 900 sold items in the past 90 days. And you can see... What's interesting is that the bottom for these get similar to that of a silver prism rookie ticket auto. Like not much more than $20, $25 you could potentially nab some of them for. Typically when you find a decent player that has promise this year with some upside, you're going to be paying around $40 to $50. But the beautiful thing is this card has, you know, $150 to $250 upside when the player breaks out depending on the size of the breakout and the market that they play in. You know, like Bailey Zappi is a prime example of this from last year. Here's the Kenneth Walker. This one's out of five, so they really dial down. Serious scarcity. Damian Pierce here for 20 and 25. There's the Brees Hall out of 99. So we saw the Sky Moore at the bottom for about $30. Now you're looking at the Brees Hall, the same scarcity, the same card from National Treasures, this one's selling for $300. So see the upside of what happens when a, a player achieves that hype from his draft class out of this set. The Trey McBride's going to be somewhere in the middle there. Aiden Hutchinson cap auto patch out of five. He's a hyped up defensive player, $900. So in terms of RPAs, I mean, these are really cream of the crop, man. Uh, people are going to buy... National Treasures rookie autos for virtually any and all players, you know, going to have a safe floor of at least 10 to $20, even if the player turns out to be a total bust and nobody, and the prices can get pretty, pretty, depending on how well your player does. Here's the Chris Olave out of 99. This one's still sealed by Panini, $400. So, you know, set your expectations when you're when you're hunting these cards for sleepers, you guys you think are going to break out from 2022. Understanding what the potential upside is. Here's the Jahan Dotson. This one's a collegiate Penn State. So definitely got to set that expectation about 50% of what the pro uniform is, but still $40 there. Christian Watson. Auto 10, PSA 9 though on the card though. Listed at 125, sold for 105. Zamir White sold for 60. And number one is the Panini Absolute Kaboom. The case hit from Absol Absolute that has taken the hobby by storm over the past five, six years. The Absolute Kaboom cannot be touched in terms of case hits. It, it just goes, it transacts for a higher dollar value than all the other case hits. And people absolutely love this card, myself included. Um, you got a massive RC shield. You got the giant Kaboom text. It was the first one to really take this comic book like aspect with the really nice foil finish and just a lot of bling. Absolute is not a chrome stock card, so it's not a super thick card, but it is the most desirable case hit to chase. Veteran Jonathan Taylor, 375. That Brees Hall sold for 350 on a bid. Micah Parsons. Veteran card, second year, $400. Josh Allen, $621. The Tom Brady, $2,000. The Chris Olave, gold. Now, they do have the gold kabooms out of 10, which are 
obviously exponentially more valuable and desirable $1,250. So you guys can see in terms of case hit, there is no touching a kaboom. Kaboom uh, case hits are going to sell for more than all other case hits. They're going to transact like crazy. $350. Buy it now. Cash for the Chris Olave kaboom. Beautiful card too. Especially love the rookies. Uh, SGC 9.5. 391. Some decent uh, variance there in, in price too. Uh, availability. I mean, sometimes these goes these go for crazy amounts. Look, look at Stefan Diggs. He didn't even play for the Bills anymore. It's not even his rookie card, and he digressed quite a bit towards the end of last season. He's on Texas now. This card sold last week for four hundred and fifty dollars because it's a kaboom, and that's why it's here at number one on this list. The Tyree Kill selling for four hundred dollars. So if you can potentially find a kaboom that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg, I mean, it's just going to be such a liquid card that you'll be able to get in and out of uh, and and sell when you want and also hold some really good short and long term. I mean, this is a, the most established case hit in the hobby at this point. Here's the, the Malik Willis. What does this sell for? It was listed at $400. Sold two weeks ago in a buy it now. Listed at 400 Sold for $300. So in terms of case hit solds, no no touching the kabooms. No touching the kaboom. All right, guys. Let me know in the comment section below which card did I leave out? Which card do you feel should have been in the top 10 from 2022? Let us know in the comment section below. And guys, reminder, if you want to access the app that you saw for me to pull in, all those different sets and players and the historical price comparisons and the grade rates, check out our website, footballcardquest.com. Click that Go Premium button. For as low as $6 a month, you can access that, plus get access to our Discord server and some other uh, really cool benefits as well, like the weekly article and other things that I write. But I'm going to leave it here. We're out of time. I'll see you guys in that next video. Peace.